we, we can definitely learn this. And the first step is to be aware. The first step is to be aware what type of boundaries do you use? Because when we are in a situation, especially with people uh, that we love, our parents, our spouses, our best friends, this is the situation when we allow people to basically break our boundaries and to use us. So the first step is to be aware. The second step, uh, in my opinion, is to understand why, what's algorithm, what's old belief system, or what behavior you are using and how to break it. And um, I have webinar about this, um, uh, about 10 reasons why people cannot say no. And um, I encourage you to watch this webinar. I don't want to repeat myself and 10 reasons a lot. We, not, we don't have time right now. Yeah. But basically one of the reasons is a good boy, a good girl syndrome. When a person wants to be good and wants to be a nice friend and a nice person. And I explain in my webinar, how to basically how this behavior was or was uh, developed so the second step is to understand yourself better like why do you do this this on this and when you will be aware of yourself when you will understand the reasons behind your behavior then you can learn how to create healthy boundaries uh, the key is to be respectful towards other person and treat yourself with respect mm -hmm. See, I think I think a lot of people out there, they might be like me where I'm very extreme, where I just can't be like, I'm just like, no, or yes, or like, you know, because um, I'm very about controlling my, my world, right? Um, and from what you're saying, it almost sounds like I grew up very transparent. And then I'm trying to be more... <laughs> I'm trying to be more like it's almost like I'm going through the motions. Do people do that? Do they kind of like practice and everything and then they kind of land it flexible over time if they're trying to be healthier? Because I feel like for me, I'm like trying to be more flexible, it seems, you know, and then I, I pick up when I'm saying to myself, you know, I really shouldn't have done this. Now I'm going to be committing like an hour of my time. And why, why did I say yes to this or, or yeah, so this is when I was talking about healthy boundaries, when you feel guilt or shame or like, why did I do this? Why did they say this? That it means that you were not truthful to yourself mm -hmm. and this is your point to grow. This is not bad. This is for you. And it's, and it's amazing because a lot of people, they cannot even uh, admit the truth. And you are aware, you can see where you can grow. And uh, like self-awareness is an amazing tool for self-development. So you can start, you know, doing something about this. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, I don't, I know I don't want to, I know you have a lot to cover. Um, but I was wondering for people listening out there, what's something that they can integrate into their daily life that can help them, you know, uh, with their boundaries is there something like really quick that you know you can say well if you tried this and you did this you know and you and you integrated this maybe you'd be able to you know see it better when it happens yeah uh, unfortunately there is no quick way to do it because yeah. if, if it were you would do it yourself like we are right. here we're discussing this topic because it's not an easy topic Mm -hmm. And we've been using uh, unhealthy, impermeable, or you know, no boundaries for many, many years in our life. Mm -hmm. And there is no quick tool to you know to fix it, to change it. Right. So, um, the first thing I think there are three advice that uh, three pieces of advice that I would like to share. The okay. first one is when you want to react, wait. Like just count and you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So do not give reaction right away. Uh, the second is think about uh, the situation. Whom are you talking to? Is it your spouse? Is it your coworker? Is it your boss at work? Because uh, it depends. You don't want to give the same reaction, you know, to all different people. And uh, the third uh, advice is think: What do you want to achieve about the outcome first? Do you want to keep your relationship? Do you want to keep your job? Do you want to be treated respectfully? That that spouse one's dangerous. I feel like if you if you wait too long, they're gonna be like, "What are you thinking?" <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, you can just say, "I'm thinking about you, me, and our relationship." 
Ah, okay. That's 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 pretty clever right there, right? It circles yeah. back. If you my husband will tell me that I'm thinking about you, me, and our relationship, it's like, okay, so what are you thinking about? <laughs> yeah. It's you know, I um, it, that's interesting because last night I actually had, I'm not going to name the situation, but I had an experience where I decided, you know, I was, and this is how I think, you know, I'm like, you know, uh, this person wants me to do X and I'm like, and I want to do Y. Um, and I, I always try to make everything work, you know, within my life and the other person. So I'm trying to, I don't know if that's flexible, right? I go, well, I could do this and I can always get to that. And I feel, I didn't feel guilty, I think, but I felt like I put myself second. Mm-hmm. And, I let, and, it's, and, and I know very quickly when I put myself second and not first. Mm-hmm. So it's like when I was younger, I was really looking for that. Like when I'm saying, when I say younger, I mean, you know, high school, when I was way younger, I was really looking for that approval. So of course I'm not thinking about, oh, I'm first putting my, where am I putting myself, right? So, um, yeah, no, last night I, it was like, I put myself second, but it was, it wasn't serious. Right. So is there a difference between when it's serious versus when it's not serious? I mean, of, of course it is. I think when, when, when in serious situation, we will react usually based on our emotions. That's the hardest thing because when it's serious, it means that, uh, we were hurt or, our emotions are out there and uh, like um, we, we tend to react. So there's reactive boundaries and proactive boundaries. Reactive boundaries is when you react based on the situation, based on your emotions. If you feel sad, you can scream, you can cry, you can get angry, or some people will ignore another person, pretend that another person does not exist, ignore calls, checks, and conversations. This is all uh, reactive boundaries and which are kind of childhood boundaries, unfortunately. Okay. And uh, the proactive boundaries is when you choose your reaction, but it's very hard. So it's going to take you sometimes, maybe, you know, first it's going to be once out of 10 times when you will be able to choose your reaction. Then it's going to be twice, then it's going to be three times. So it's going to take some time till you will figure out how to do it. So if I'm hearing you correctly, right, you know, it's going to it's going to be hard, you know, to really be present when to make the decisions. But, you know, I think it's important when you're faced with something that you're unsure of, you want to really pause and give yourself some actual time and not to just kind of quickly answer the other person. Right. Yes. And and then maybe and then what you're because it makes sense, because if you don't think, then you know, you're going to just continue to feel these, re- these, these emotional repercussions, right. Of, yeah. uh, you know, the guilt and whatever. Yes. Uh, also, uh, when you give a quick answer, a person might think that you don't care or you rude or you selfish or something else. But when you think and take pause, a person will see that something is happening with you. And if you will start the conversation and say something like, listen, this is very important uh, thing for me. And uh, I would like to be honest with you. I think I'm sure like it's going to be much better than you will just, you know, give a quick reaction based on your emotions. Yeah. Plus, do you think also in a way it it shows the other person, it allows the other person to respect you more because yeah. you're, not, you're just not. You know, in sales, they call it laying down, right? You're just not going with, with, with whatever the person's saying, right? Yes, you're not just throwing some reactions at him or throwing your bad negative emotions or your like the feelings of uh, pitiness, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm a victim here. No, when you communicate with the person, then the person will mostly, most likely listen to you and appreciate you because when you communicate and when you take pause, it's like you respecting yourself and you respecting the other person and you respecting the relationship that you have, not just blaming or like, you know, sacrificing yourself, but mm-hmm. trying to make it more profound, more meaningful. And you probably you've probably heard about win-win strategy in business mm-hmm. and in relationship, you can apply this strategy as well. So it's like, think about yourself, think about your spouse and about the relationship. So it's you, me and us. And if right. you will forget about one element, then it's, this system is going to collapse. Right. 
there's always three elements you me and us it's not only about you because it's kind of popular to say oh you should protect your interest you should put yourself first but if we're talking about romantic relationship then it's not you it's not always you it's not always your spouse probably us what is the most important 